Good morning, and thank you for joining us for another edition of Coffee with Tom and Joanne. I'm Joanne Toronto. And I'm Tom Matthews. And today, we're talking about how we live in an over-communicated society. Imagine that. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. How can you get people's attention? And how can you communicate with people? So the topic we're going to talk about today are handwritten notes. So Joanne, when might we be sending out a handwritten note? Well, there are simply a lot of occasions where a handwritten note can be appropriate. Um, so the most basic handwritten note that we utilize is a thank you card, mm -hmm. right? So if somebody sends you a referral for a buyer or a seller, or if somebody does something for your business or your family, a, a handwritten thank you card goes incredibly far. And it's such an underutilized tool in our society, just given that you could text somebody and say thank you, you can email them and say thank you, and that takes very little effort. But you know what? Writing a handwritten note takes a little bit more effort, but it has a much larger impact on the recipient. So I know that when I receive a thank you note for anything, I'm just tickled that somebody went out of their way to write and send me something in the mail because I yeah. think it's a nice gesture. So thank yous are great. Another way to use um, handwritten notes is invitations. Tom, why don't you talk about that a little bit? So yeah, so when, when Joanne and I like to throw events for clients, we like to send handwritten notes to invite people because you know oftentimes when you open your mail, you get solicitations, you get postcards, you get bills. And when Joanne and I like to throw client events where we are bringing clients in for free food. Last year, we did family photo sessions okay. and we write a handwritten note to invite people to say, okay. come to our event. We are so grateful for your support of our business that we want to give back to you. And we want to give you a handwritten invitation. So Joanne, something we've started this year is getting back to the basics which is going back to writing handwritten notes to our clients. Yeah. Which we did for the, probably the first 16 years of our career and took a little interruption during COVID. Tell people about what we're doing there. I mean, I think that if you have somebody on your mind, what better way to reach out to them than to send them a handwritten note that just says, hey, I was thinking about you or hi, I was in your neighborhood and was thinking about you or... I saw on social media, X, Y, and Z, you got a new puppy, you had a baby, you got married. It's a fabulous way to reach out to people in a way that you know the communication is going to be received because we get so many emails every day. How many of you wake up in the morning and open your email and you have to delete 50, you know, things that are just, I hate to say it, but are mostly noise right? So coupons for different stores and lists you can't get off. Um, but when somebody sends me a note and says, hey, congratulations on this, or I saw you competed in this, you know, event or race, congratulations. I saw you ran the Boston Marathon. Like a great way to recognize someone and make them feel special. Yes. Yeah, because it takes effort. You're putting forward some time. You're showing people that you're grateful for them. And, and it's just, it's a little tip. So, I mean, you know, this video we're doing is for our consumers to know that we we are grateful for you. We are going to send you handwritten notes. But if you're a realtor and you're sitting here watching this video and you're like, what can I do to give more to my community? Start writing handwritten notes. It's, mm -hmm. you know, a very simple thing to do. And it's very easy, but you have to execute. You have to yeah. get forward and do it and make sure that it becomes habitual. It's something you do each and every week as part of your systems. Yeah. And I feel great doing them. Yeah. So I, you know, as I go through my week, I recognize certain things that are going on for people in my life, whether they are clients or friends or neighbors or whomever. And I, if I, feel I want to recognize that person for whatever efforts they're doing, I will write them a handwritten note. And it does something for me too, yeah. because nothing feels better 
than putting goodwill and giving to others and then having somebody recognize that in a way that's not a fast, a fast text message or an email is, is great. You know, thank your mom or your brother or sister on a text message, but for your friends, your colleagues, you know, you close a transaction, write a thank you note to the other agent for bringing the buyer or for doing a great job on the listing side. I think that goes a long way. Agreed. Well, listen, thank you for watching another edition of Coffee with Tom and Joanne. I'm Tom Matthews. And I'm Joanne Toronto. Cheers.